What's going on guys, it's up, and today we are going to be going over the new light experience and the, why I made a free-to-play account. Well, first of all, I made the free-to-play account because it's we got 30 days left in the season. The season didn't have a whole bunch of things in it anyways, and people were always asking what it's like to be a free-to-play player in the PvP realm and how much of a disadvantage you're at. Well, to answer that question, it's going to be quite a journey, and we'll be going over a lot of it. I'll be going over a whole bunch of the tips that I learned along the way, a lot of the new things that I've seen, and a lot that I have learned in the process. Now, when I first logged on, I asked my chat, I'm like, hey, what class gets what subclasses and everything? And they said, Hunter starts with Solar. I'm like, perfect, we're gonna start with that. Because I know that two of the aspects are gonna make this significantly more bearable. But before we get into that, can we just acknowledge what this mission even is? I'd never seen it before in any other platforms. I don't know when Bungie added it, but apparently it's how you unlock your light classes now. It's like a whole puzzle room. You go around and you meditate in random places. I, I don't know when this was added, and I know I'm a little unobservant, but this came to a pretty big shock to me. Definitely, um, definitely quite surprising. It had a whole bunch of different like spikes, and it definitely caught me off guard once or twice. But the main purpose of the free-to-play account is uh, to do as much as I can free-to-play until I feel like there's absolutely nothing left, and then I'll buy the expansion just for trials, but not for the sake of doing anything, just to see how a free-to-play account would compete. But that's much farther away. So right now, it's going to be 100% new light, 100% free-to-play, and we're just going to take it for what it is and uh and see how far we can get with it and i'll tell you what they give you some pretty decent stuff right off the bat but this first mission all it did was unlock a couple of the basics of solar subclass it gave us the gunslinger's gamble um solar grenade solar knives the basic dodge no nothing that really was anything that i particularly wanted yet of course uh we'll be going over what the things that i bought in just a few but it gave you a few decent weapons right off the bat, like a Arc Blinding GL and Night Watch, and that was all relatively exciting. But if you want anything decent, you're gonna have to buy it. And I felt torn in all different kinds of directions when it came to it. So at least, you know, I got to see the uh, new light experience and what people are going through, because when people ask me questions and they're like, hey, Sap, you know, I'm at this point in the game, what do I do or this point? And I'm like, I have no idea. The last time that I had a new character and new account was Red War. Like, I do not know anything about the new light experience. So it was certainly eye-opening. Um, but let's go ahead and watch this first clip. Why are you making a new account for the great experience? Yeah. Oh, you get lonesome? Okay. Actually, lonesome with multi-kill clip is non-sarcastically pretty good. This this is actually a four out of five for lonesome. Grave robbers shit. But this is actually really good. This this is <laughs> we're gonna No! Fuck, I don't have legendary shards. We're gonna we're gonna be carried by this. As you can see, I was very surprised to get a lonesome that good right off the bat since sidearms are so good right now. But right after that, we took the glimmer that we did have and we went ahead and bought both the aspects that we need, which are knock them down, which the second your knives cause radiant with a fragment. Those are incredibly powerful. And then on your mark, which makes your dodges borderline dragon shadow level. They are very good. Then we wanted to make sure that we also got gambler's dodge for when we will be chaining knives in PVE later. Obviously, not focused on that. They make you meditate each and every time to unlock things. It's a strange thing, but we went ahead and collected everything from our season pass and moved right along. Think you just buy the Aachen from collections? I've never gotten it before. You have to get things. Yeah, I haven't got the Aachen yet. Oh, there's only one Aachen now? What happened to the energy Aachen? Did they take it out? Oh, wait. Oh! 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 You're right! I'm so thrilled to finally have a special weapon that felt familiar. I used to use it all the time. So we finally get grabbed our gear from the helm, the free gear that you get for Arc 3.0. 
We had our Lonesome, we had our Akin, and I felt confident that with the few things that we got from Ikora, that we would actually be able to compete. The low cooldown dodge, strafe jump, weighted knife, trip mines, on your mark, knock them down, and then the free fragment, which is just solar ignitions on supers or something. I was really trying to spec into as much mobility as I possibly could with what I was provided, but it's tough with low gear. It is uh, difficult. My first. Okay, listen, 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 listen. As you can see, we managed to do just fine with it. If you guys saw the video that I posted just before this one, it is my first game on this account. It is a 43 and 0. Make sure to check it out if you guys haven't already, because just 50 minutes in, we already had quite the PVP build going. It was competing, we were getting through the Shax quest, which required you to do rumble, control, and elimination, and then survival at the end, which is a little bit funny because you have to verify your phone number, but the system doesn't work very well. It's it's all a little wonky, but in the end we got through it. <laughs> As you can see, we were just chalking up gold medals left and right. I was really happy with the lonesome that we were provided. Next up was making sure that we had our ghost shell as high as we could so that we could put crucible posterity on it and get a whole bunch of extra legendaries. This was going to be our key farming like strategy. It was so that we could get as many things as possible without having to grind things that we didn't want to. Uh, ooh. That was 10,000. Oh, well. I needed that. That's fine. This looks good. This is good. This is very good. I need to buy that. So that is what we did. We grinded it out, made sure that we got that NOD because that was going to be the game changer. Finally replaced the lonesome we got because as good as it was, I needed something that worked on MK. So all we had left was to get a couple of the essentials. Mobility mods and the artifact, which means PVE. Yeah. We can get sniper targeting. Let's go. And sword scan. Hand cannon holster. Wow. <gasps> Mobility mod. Let's fucking go. I was so finally excited to have my first major mod. I was thrilled that it was mobility because I'm trying to prioritize as much mobility as possible. Didn't even care about recovery and we finally had a build going. 97 mobility and we were killing it. So if you guys like this style of video, let me know. It was a lot of fun seeing how quickly I can make something PVP, you know, competitive um, from start. And it took about an hour to get something decent going and it took about three hours to get something I felt really comfortable with. This was just my first day playing on a free-to-play account, and if you guys want to see more, I am doing it all on Twitch, and if you want to see more on YouTube, just let me know, because it was really fun putting this together, and it was really unique seeing what other people are going through, because honestly, I had no idea what kind of grind the new light grind was, and uh, <laughs> seeing some of these missions for the first time was entertaining, to say the least, and trying to scrap together a build, which is something that I just assumed everybody had. I didn't know you had to grind for major mods. So give me some feedback. I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a great day. Peace.